Me and Morgan are outside in the wild. I got Morgan to come outside for the first time ever. This is her first time seeing the, the day of light. Um, she hasn't melted away yet, so that's very sad. <laughs> huh? Yeah. I mean, we could go that way too. You wanna go that way? I was saying, no, this straight this way. I was being sarcastic. Oh, I I could see your point. No. No. Good thing I put that protectant on my shoes. That would've been bad. These pants sag too, that's the issue. But I mean, that's like the best part about it. It's not loose enough to wear a belt. Like, it's not tied up to the point where I can wear it without a belt. Hmm, what's our hot topics? What's an unpopular opinion that you have? I feel like unpopular opinion? I don't know. I don't know. I think my unpopular opinion is that Taylor Swift is overrated. See, I don't think she's overrated, but I don't think I wouldn't say she's underrated. I think she's she's appropriately rated, honestly. I think I'm just so I think like I'm just so tired of seeing her face. I think that's the only thing. I see I her think, literally. I see her face. I listen to her music instead. I, I hear her instead. I don't. Yeah, I don't got to hear it. I like. Hear her. Like I'm not like upset. Like I'm not like obsessed. Like I listen to music, I keep up. Like that's the extent of my obsession with her. I listen to her music and I keep up with like her releases. And that's just about it. Mm. Don't need merch. I want to go to concerts. Could care less. Yeah, get caught up with any of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, also you have to like literally sell like your trust fund to go to a concert. I mean, I heard she actually, she's releasing her tour film on Disney Plus. Yeah. In March. Didn't they have any, like, hot topics? Very popular opinion. Billie Eilish is the finest white woman ever. I do agree with that. I would go to war for that white woman. Her and Renee Rapp, for sure. See, I mean, like, I can't really, I think I can't hop on the Renee, Renee Rapp trend not because i don't agree but because i've already told a lot of people that i just don't see the hype and so then if i start saying that now i do then it's going to be embarrassing on my part and i can't let that happen i can't I've be wrong always said that. huh i've kind of always believed that <laughs> i can't accept that because i got discovered with the mean girls and i was like oh she's pretty no, yeah no, i can't no, be no, wrong no. after i said that like boy genius was like not good and now I do think they're good. You know how embarrassing that is? I hate being wrong. I hate, like, my opinions changing. Like, at first, like, at first I didn't like Lizzie McAlpine. She was like, she was like, and now I do. So, uh, I'm not, like, I don't even know what it is that got me into her. I don't Lizzie? Even, like, I, no, Taylor, I don't even know what it is that got me into her. I couldn't, like, I don't remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just think, I, I don't know, I just think Taylor's music is, like, not my type of music. That's it's very, like, music, poppy. Music subjective. Yeah, literally. Because I heard album is like her non pop album, it's like her most non pop album. And which one is it? Evermore. Oh, wait, I think I can't remember. Does she like Evermore or does she like folklore? I think so like folklore. Oh. I don't know the difference, they both look the same. Well, because they released in the same year and they both have like the same vibe. Why did she release them in the same year? Because it was COVID, so she all she had time to do was right. Yeah, because all she had time to do was right. You know, so it's like her most non pop album that's her it's a, it's a favorite album. Mm. Now, at least her, I think probably was one of her earlier ones. I don't know which one, but like. Oh wait, can you can you call me? I want you to I want you to hear my new ringtone. Oh god. I worked really hard to get it like this. All Dula X. Ready for my ringtone? Yes, you do have a phone number. Oh shoot, wait. Do you have a phone number? Oh. I do have a phone number. Nick how do you like? Give a dog a bone. Mr. Peanut Butter. You don't like it? Uh, it's interesting. What? What's wrong with it? it it's interesting. It's a, it's a ringtone, all right. You don't like Mr. Peanut Butter? You need to watch BoJack Court. Actually, no, don't watch it. Yeah, no, I haven't got it. I can't, I can't, not yet, not yet. I want to. Make sure make sure you're in a good mental state before you watch BoJack Courtsman because if you're not, then you're going to realize a lot of things about yourself that you did not know. Like, I think I regret... I think I started watching BoJack Horseman during COVID, but then I, I rewatched it like five different times. But every time I watch it, I like study like one character, and I just think that like that shows like it has to be one of the best written animated shows yeah, ever. I mean, yeah, I've heard I've seen a lot of clips. I've heard a lot. Like I've heard like a, a good amount about the show. Just yes. I think I'm at the point where I can watch it yet. Yeah, it's so I eye opening. Watch, I, I really do want to. Wait till you're in a good mental state before you watch it, then. Because if not, you're gonna be like, you're gonna you're gonna watch it and be like, holy fuck, am I a terrible person? 
I don't think I'm a terrible person, though. No, I, 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 I try to be good. I really do. I, I think yeah. I'm a genuine person. Yeah, and that's all that matters. I did not think it'd be this. Oh, that's my phone. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is this song? <laughs> What's happening? Oh, it's the Smiths. I said I love the Smiths. Oh, let me get a let me give a playlist tour. Okay, so first we have skateboard, and on that one is ah, the Smiths, TV Girl, Radiohead, Alex G, and what and whatever Dad. On my rock star one with the rock star cat, we have Deftones, Ethan Kane, and Mother Mother. Valid, valid. What you think? Valid. Okay. On the star one. We have Boy Genius, Lucy McAlpine, Billie Eilish, Phoebe Bridgers, Phineas, and Cave Town. Very valid, very valid. Um, then on, on my knees is just Lamp on that one. And then for the best playlist, we got Jacob Sartorius. So look, look, let me just see. We're not friends, we're not friends. Do you really think of a, about him? I do it for the reason. I just think it nice. Girl, I want to keep it while I'm good in. Oh, and I gotta play extra. I'm myself. I got problems. Kate, where are you going? I need help, but you're not alone. Left me here. Oh my god. I lie, 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 lie. Tell everybody that I'm fine, 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 fine. Even though I'm dead inside. I feel all right. So <laughs> when you're being a soup. Oh my god, what do we want to eat? There's actually a Culver's nearby too. So what you think? I think our options are Culver's, Chick Fil A. We should ask Siri. All right, let's see. Siri, can you help me choose between Culver's, Chipotle, or Chick-fil-A? Here's what I found. Okay. I already had Chipotle, had Chipotle last week. Okay, so we're going to cancel out Chipotle, so we have between Chick-fil-A and Culver's. I'll Chick-fil-A. I feel like we should have in a while. Siri, should I have Chick-fil-A today? Here's what I found. I'm going to shoot myself. What the fuck is up with all this fucking milk? <sighs> Huh. Keep going. Actually, cut through here. I actually have a funny story to tell about this area. Wait. Actually, no. Keep going straight. I have a funny tell. It's funny story to tell about this, this area. And I think I have it on footage too. I have to find it. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I was like walking. I was walking with um said person here, uh -huh. and you know we were walking and we were walking over there and I was like made a TikTok so I jumped around and I had my phone in my pocket. And I guess somewhere down the line, my phone fell out of my pocket, but I didn't know. Oh. So we were like all the way over, like all the way over there. And then I was like, check my pockets. I was like, hello, is my phone in here? And I was like, oh, maybe I left it in the car. Maybe I left it in the car. Awesome. And so then I, I didn't freak out too much about it because I thought, hey, maybe I left it in the car. But ultimately I didn't. So then I was like, I told her, I was like, actually, can, you, can we just walk back the exact same way we came here? And then imagine behold, randomly on the floor, like by a tree, my phone was right there. In the water. Huh? In the water. Literally, I literally was like, oh my god. I would have lost my shit. I'm not like addicted to my phone, but like, I feel like, I, like I, obviously I can't live without my phone though, but I'm not addicted. Like, I learned to not be on my phone that much. You know, you know I, I need to fix that. It's bad. It's not even like bad, bad. Like, it's bad. The thing with your math is that I, it's, it's, it was a distraction. Yeah. And now that I'm not doing it anymore, it's like, yeah, I have nothing else to do. But oh shoot, I just got I just got an early an early look at this documentary. Shitting and bricking, shitting and bricking. I love walking. Oh my god. What are your Valentine's Day plans? Um, honestly, I don't really know. I I don't I don't know. I, I have a dentist appointment that day, so that's fun. Yeah, I literally think. Last year, I didn't even do anything. Like, I didn't go anywhere, and I had a Valentine. So, I'm just probably going to do the same thing I did last time. You know, I Not have go a, anywhere. For some odd reason, I have been at this appointment scheduled that day. Yeah. 
I'll probably yeah, go to work. I might buy myself like I might buy myself something nice. Yeah, I, might, I might just like bake something for myself. Yeah. I might ask if I could like get paid early on the 14th, so then I could buy this sweatsuit that I, this green sweatsuit from this brand that I really want, and that'll be a Valentine's gift to myself. But I am I just bought myself some Reese hearts. Yeah. yeah. I'm probably just gonna bake something. That's usually what I do. I think that's so many options when it comes to, like Valentine's Day. There's just so many options. You know? Yeah, I'm my own cupcakes, Valentine's guy. Cookies, guys. brownies, like, you know. So much. So much. Loki, you need to do a sell, but like a platter. Just like, I'm selling Valentine's Day cupcakes slash cookies. I'm just gonna say cookies for my friends. You know? Yeah. When you have the school meal Wednesday. That's smart. Just ask your friends to be your Valentine's. Exactly. <sighs> so refreshing. I want to go to a mountain. Like, I want to hike a mountain. Would you, you do that? We went, to, we went to Atlanta for Christmas that year. Yes, that and we walked so down fun. and up it. That was, that was so fun. That was so fun. I would love to go again. I think when I go to Atlanta, because I'm going to Atlanta over the summer, I think I want to do that, but I don't think my mom's going to want to do it with me. Shoot, I'll go. I gotta go to that. I feel like we need it again this year. Really? Yes. <laughs> I think it's of like a picnic. It's in, well, it's in Dallas. So that's be fun. I'm like, they're doing a picnic. They're doing a, a banquet. Oh, so, so it's just formal. Yes, and I don't want to do that. Why? Yeah, I, I don't want to do that. So I figured out an outfit for that because, like I said, I don't wear dresses. I usually wear like suits and like blazers, but it's gonna be hot. So what are you wearing? Turnabout. Texas. I'm not going to turnabout. I told you. You said that. you're going to turnabout. What are you wearing? Turnabout. I'm not going to turnabout. What are you wearing? Turnabout. I'm not going to turnabout. I'm going next year. Next year. So boring. I'm going, I'm going next year. I don't want to go. Why is it fifty dollars? I think that I might go to prom this year. Really? To me personally, I, I know for a fact I'm waiting until senior year. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. I have to see. I have to see. I have to see if like some of my friends are going. It's like it's like homecoming. Like you know, it's the same experience. Like the same experience two years in a row. Like it's so well. Uh... Yeah, but not really though. It's like it's different because like. Because like, we're going to senior year. It's like oh, you know, I already went to prom. I kind of already know what to expect. You know. Yeah, but that's why that's good though because I'll know that like to. I'll know to like plan better and I'll be like, you know what? Well, like, I want the whole night to be like surprised and like unexpected, you know? Like, I don't want it to be. Oh my you god, know, like, you know what? I just noticed out. that I'll be 18 by the time I go to prom next year. Yep. I'm getting a hotel. I'm gonna check into a hotel and I'm just gonna do that after prom. Uh, not me though. I'll be what, 17? Yeah. That's why I like my birthday. I do feel like that I have to wait the longest for my birthday. But I feel like your birthday, I keep saying this, your birthday is so perfectly it placed. Is. Like, it's like, not too like, close to Christmas. No, but it's like. Like, like you're like the per like you're half you're both your ages for the entire school year. Like you're 16 for the school year and then 17 for the school year. It's literally so perfect. On the other hand, I'm the same age for three weeks. <laughs> it's my birthday. Yeah, I love my birthday, but I loved it until you know January 6 happened, and now every like literally now everybody wants to talk about the fucking Capitol. No, it's Nyla's holiday. January 6 is Nyla's birthday, the day that I, a beautifully born person, was born. You looked Asian when you were born. What? You did. I looked Asian? You did. I don't know how to take that. I don't know how to disguise that. Do I still look like it? No. Or do I look black? <laughs> black. I, I gotta take my ancestry when I get back home. I've been waiting to do that for like forever now. Did you not get one for Christmas? My dad got one. He said he's gonna use it. I don't think he ever did. Oh. Yeah, okay, he still has that opening record player. Oh! Like, I don't know, like, he's had it for over a year now. I've had mine for three months and I've been using it. So. Oh my god, this is the best part. This water's gonna <sighs> I have to take a picture. I this I've never been over here. You've never walked this oh, far? Oh, no, I've never been over here, like, period. Isn't I've this never, beautiful? Like, holy shit. If this falls, I will kill myself right now. I don't know, it looks pretty deep to me. Ah, so you want a good time. Oh wow. Here I am, baby. Talk to me, talk, talk to me. Baby. What's it on your mind? What's on your mind? If you want it, uh, girl, come and get it. All this is here for you. Tell me, baby. Tell me, tell me, baby. What you trying to do? But yeah, 2024. Be it's gonna be year. everyone's year. It's gonna be my year. It's gonna be Morgan's year. It's gonna be Miles' year. It's gonna be Chelsea's year. It's gonna be everybody's year. 
as long as you focus on yourself like on cloud nine. and prioritize yourself sometimes it's okay to be selfish but like don't take advantage of being selfish you know don't let don't let the excuse of you being selfish for being a dick but be selfish be selfish put yourself first follow your endeavors push your dreams mm -hmm. this is the year to drop the people or the things that are holding you down from not doing what you want to do I think that's something everybody should do. Everybody should learn themselves more. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just learn yourself more, you know? And everybody should go ahead and watch Jacob Sartorius. This is not a podcast YouTube channel. Because as much as people want to hate on him, he talks a lot of shit. He talks a lot of shit. And he has helped me motivate myself. Period. A lot of cool MBX projects. Everybody look out for Treat Train coming up. You want to plug? You want to plug? What's the at? What's the at? Uh, train underscore on Instagram. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Two train underscore on TikTok. Okay, okay. YouTube channel coming soon. YouTube channel coming soon. Website, wait, what's the website? Also in progress. Also in progress. Mm, type shit, type shit. I would love to work there. Yeah. Like, the print might buy it. Oh, well, then it's probably as a dog. Thought it was a coyote. I mean, maybe shoot, because they are, they do kind of stay off that way. But what's over there? Like, I, there's like, cause there's like that random um, chimney. Is that the right way to say it? Chimney. I say chimney, but chimney over there. But then there's like a bunch of three ones over there. Let me see. Is it muddy to go off trail over there? Let's see. Probably. Let's see. And Loki. Most of the times I would be down, but these shoes are made. They have canvas material, and I'm trying to fuck them up. But that is so cool. Hold on. Like, there's that way to get over there. Yeah, I feel like it has to be like a boots thing though. I feel like, it's wet. I feel like, I feel like the grass is gonna be extremely wet. Yeah, we'll have to wait till the summer. Yeah. Yeah. We'll save that for a summer exploration vlog. I think it would have to go. Oh, it'd have to be over. What the fuck is that though? Like, is there. Oh, wait, that's not chimneys. That, that's like power source supply. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, we don't want to go over there. <laughs> I don't want to blow up. Yeah, that's actually not in my, uh, surprisingly, that's not on my bucket list for 2024. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a decently long vlog. It's going on Fruity Vice. Morgan's first time on Fruity Vice in 2024. Morgan is busy, been, been, went to sectionals. No, I thought I'm always busy, okay? Morgan is booked and busy. Booked, booked and, and busy. busy. Yet still single. There's nothing wrong with being single. I think being single is like... It's eye-opening. It lets you learn more about yourself. You know, go have fun, you Morgan. I haven't been single for the past year. I've been single my whole life. Okay, she kind of clocked it. There's she okay? she kind of clocked me. There, there's a okay, there might be a somebody. More details on that later. There might be a somebody. Hold on. Um, <laughs> let me. I'm gonna turn the camera off. I'm gonna turn the camera off, guys. Um, yeah, I'll be back. We are just about on kind of our last stretch of this walk. So far, we have walked almost two miles. Um, and yeah guys, you know, I think life can be such a beautiful thing when you let it be. Go for a walk. Pop your pussy out at the club. Like, you can do so many things. <laughs> if there's a text that you've been waiting to send, send it. If there's been, like, something or, like, someone that you're trying to, like, you know, approach and, like, be like, what's, what's going on? Like, what's, do we got beef? Do it. If there's, like, a random class that you want to do, do it. If you want to, you know... Go to a strip club and you're at legal age, do it. If there's like a drink that you want to drink, do it. If there's like something you want to smoke, do it, but do it safely. <laughs> you know, life is too short to just like limit yourself. It's too short to limit yourself. Do everything you could possibly think of. You know, go see that concert. Go spend your trust fund money on Lollapalooza tickets. You know? Go, go randomly to it. Go to Greece. Go to Greece. Go to Italy. Go to France. Drop everything you have now and leave the country. And you know what? Do it because life is short. Like, just life is too short to not do shit. You know? 
go settle down, go have a kid. Or if you don't want to settle down, go have fun. You know, just don't be in a relationship and go have fun. If you're in a relationship, stay dedicated to that relationship, unless it's an open relationship. Nyla, I'm so good at giving advice, aren't I, Morgan? Uh, yeah. I'm the best advice giver ever. All right, now she's hating. We made it to two miles. Woo woo. I'm getting my exercise in for the day. I didn't go to the gym this morning, so I was like, let me go for a walk. I got a fire outfit on. In my opinion, I think I got a fire outfit on. I got a smile on my face. I got two dimples on both of my faces. I have my septum pierced, and now I'm just yapping. What? Oh, it's a hawk. It is a hawk. It's not. Imagine just flew down. I would bolt so fucking I'm fast. That's so cool. Hawks are so pretty though. They're Birds are pretty. It's like literally, oh, getting a phone call. <laughs> Mr. Peanut Butter. Nick Nack. Give a dog a bone. <laughs> Mr. Peanut Butter. <laughs> Ready, one more. Oh, it's Tanika. Y'all cannot tell me I don't have the best fucking ringtone in the world. Who's that? I'm about to play it right now. Oh, God. Let me see. Sound. Here we go. Ready? She's making fun of me like I'm not like, like the coolest person she knows in her life. Come on now. You'll never have another Nyla in your life. I'm like only Nyla that I actually like know personally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel like the next time I go on a, ooh, the next time it's warm, I'm gonna have to pick, pick you up and me and you're gonna have to go to Crete because there's this other forest. But this time it's like you actually walk to the forest. Like it's not a trail. I mean, there is a trail, but you walk off trail. You remember the, uh, the vlog that I did with Miles and Chelsea and we were in that forest and we all fell? That's where I would take you. It's so beautiful. Like you grab a lawn chair and just sit there. It's so pretty. I'm gonna have to take you. But I feel like the next time I do that, I'm gonna actually have every, I'm have my bike, my mic, M I C. I know. And I'm gonna talk about Bojack Horseman. I feel like I have to really give my receptive. What is that? What they call it? Res re retrospective. Retrospective. That's what it says. Um, I really have to give my retrospective of Bojack Horseman because I literally think that as much as I dick ride it, Bojack Horseman. Literally changed my life, right? I haven't watched it. I can't. I can't answer that for you. It's, okay, so where's this tunnel? All right, now. Okay, I'm gonna take her to the tunnel. It's, it's really scary. Um, every time, every time I try to go there, there's always like a man in like a hood, oh. and he disappears. <laughs> but it's because it's right next to a trailer park. But that's okay. I don't think they're out. I think they only. The last time I was here and I saw him, it was at night. So that's why. Why were you here? Cause you know, I just love exploring. Like there's so many like. We only just walked that, but there's, like I said, there's a whole other thing. But that's okay, because if we did it all in one day, then there would be no reason to ever come back. So, we have to come back. Okay, we are approaching the, um, the graffiti tunnel. Probably gonna have to blur out a couple things that are being here, because I feel like there's a lot of penises and, and, uh, breast. That was so weird. I've never seen that again. I've never caught a breast before. That's so weird. Ugh. Breast? Breast? I just say boob. Boobies! Boob. Boobies! Boob. <laughs> oh hell, that was a dog. That's scary. Well, every time I come up here, you gotta gotta be ready and strapped. I remember last time I was literally helping once again my friend Tyler filming something, and like I said, that hooded dude was there. So when we walked up here. I literally took out my uh, my pocket knife and was just walking like this while we were walking up in here. Still frozen. Water still frozen over here. Really? Oh, that's so weird. Yeah. Got okay, we're about to enter. Are you scared, Morgan? Are you excited to see what's on the wall? I guess. It's nothing crazy. I mean, yeah, it is I, crazy, I but like, like... Like, like, insane. Huh? So I don't think they think like, insane, but like, you know. Yeah. It's a little cleaner, too. Some reason. Shit. I think it keeps going. Yep. Oh, they cut the grass. Oh, that's what we're talking about? Yeah, it was like so grassy. Someone must have just came in here and freshly painted it. Cause it's so clean and it smells like spray paint in here now. Y'all, yeah. this is sick though. I love graffiti art so much. People are so talented, but... Literally, like what? That is so sick. They covered all the boobs up and this is where, oh no, here it is. 
They covered it though. What did it say? It said, a nigger, nigger, American, welcome. But they covered it out, which is sweet. Whoever did that, much love. I want to add it not. <laughs> Wash ya move. This is crazy. Like, what about the wall all these have been here? Shoot, I just can't imagine like the amount of someone came through here and like like completely tagged this shit though because it wasn't just like this. It was like a bunch of scrabble. Yeah, look all the paint. Slay queen. Slay queen. All the oh, there's a duck right there. All the penises are gone. That sucks. Ooh. This is so cool though. Ski slump. Yeah, we're gonna have to come in here and tag it. That's so. Good. Oh, well, uh, there was like a much detailed one, but they completely oh. covered. Oh, oh handprints. It's some, a. Some initials over there, C and M. Yeah, this is sick. And then it continues to go. But we we'll have to save that for another day. Yeah, like... Penis. It's so cool, though, isn't it? Oh, oh, now that I have lights with batteries. Oh, my God. We have to do a music video down here. Oh, my God. We have to. Look at this. Hello. 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 Ah. That's so sick. Oh, let me put the hold on. I put this knife up so Susan doesn't demonetize me. Whole lot of red. Hold on, hold on. I gotta see if I put it like here. There, there has to be a ticket. You need a flashlight test. I know. I have to get one. There's a lot of things that I have to get. We're working on it. This summer, 2024, like I said, 2024 is MBX Productions and Fruity Vices year. Podcast coming soon, actually. I'm buying a setup for the podcast. A Fruity Podcast is coming. 